Hi guys, Ivan Susan here from Vloggers on the Loose. Today we're in Geraldton. It's a four hour drive from Perth, guys. Over 420 kilometers from uh, northwest of Perth. And um, a population, there's two populations here because I'll give you the greater Geraldton, which includes a lot of the other smaller country towns. They've included that in Geraldton now. So the, uh, it's quite a big population for this area. It's 39, 000, over 39,000 people out here and in the greater Geraldton, which like I said, includes a few of the, the outer towns. But in the town center of Geraldton, there's just over 3,000 residents. So uh, we're on the Beresford shore, uh, foreshore over here. And it's quite a flash area over here, but over there, is the port. That's Geraldton Port over there. And the, the ocean looks a bit choppy at the moment and very, um, a lot of seaweed over there. Water looks quite dark. And behind us over here, that there's the houses that's um, overlooking the ocean over there on the Beresford foreshore in Geraldton. So guys, what we'll do now is We'll just take a little walk down the street here and show you guys the houses in Geraldton. Hey guys, so the, these are some of the houses over here on the Beresford foreshore in Geraldton. Um, a lot of uh, big investment going on in here, guys, because um, people have built some pretty flash houses. And the one over here on the corner, that's for sale. Check that out, that looks quite impressive. You get ocean views from every window in that house, the way the house is angled. That's pretty cool. So we're just walking up one of the side streets over here on this Beresford uh, foreshore. And uh, as you can see, guys, some of these houses are very modern. Check this out. It's quite a nice modern house here. There's two of them over here. They look identical. Maybe it was built by the same builder and just uh, sold off. And of course you'll get your older style house over here, which we're just coming up to. That one there's probably been here since this area opened up over here. And there's another older style house up there lady relaxing reading a book over there on her balcony good honor there's a vacant block next to that old house actually that'll be um, worth a bit because it's quite raised up and that's the view you'll get guys so um, quite an impressive uh, ocean view from there So guys, a bit of um, history on Geraldton. Look at this house here, guys. Check this out. This is a big dome thing. It looks very, very impressive. But then you got this older one next to it again, with a strange looking fence around it. But yeah, that house there, oh, that's perched high up on a hill and that'll get massive ocean views from there. So guys, the port of Geraldton is actually a major west coast seaport. Geraldton is an important service and logistics center for regional mining, fishing, wheat, sheep and tourism industries. There's some interesting facts there. Also the West Australian Museum in Geraldton houses numerous relics from the wreck of the Batavia, which happened on the 4th of June, 1629. That's pretty cool. Well, not that it got wrecked, but some pretty cool um, history there. And did you guys know during World War II, Geraldton was the location of number four service flying training school, RAAF. This flying school was formed 
on the 10th of February. So, Geraldton actually has a, um, a Mediterranean climate out here. It's quite cloudy out here today, very cloudy. Not, not, a, not a speck of blueness in the sky. But as they say, it's got a Mediterranean, it's, it's, it's got a humid feel in the area, in the, in the weather of here. Look at this guys, you can see um, the ocean from here. And this is just a back road from that foreshore that we're just sort of walking down. So in summer guys, the, the average temperature out here is between 32 and 33 degrees. So not much there, one degree the diff. And in winter, the temperatures average about 20 degrees Celsius. Also for all your football, Australian rules football enthusiasts, um, a lot of Aussie rules footballers came from this area, from Geraldton. A lot of famous ones also. Famous one for the West Coast Eagles was um, the late uh, Chris Mainwaring. He's from this area, from Geraldton. There you go. So there's um, another um, old house over there, guys. A couple of old houses through here. And these ones perch up on the hill. They're quite impressive. That there is quite a modern house up there. So, um, what do you guys think of Geraldton so far? And the houses through here. There, there's a, a massive variety of different houses through here. But, um, these big ones, you know, the people have really invested some big money through here. This one here is quite old, it's got a massive wall around it. And there's a lot of cracks going through that wall, so it's obviously been there a long time. And here's an old one here that's for sale. This one here is for sale, guys. That, that dates back to the 1960s or 70s, that. That Skillion roof was big in those days, in the se early 70s, I think. And, and it's come back into vogue again. The old Skillion roof. So we'll just walk down this street over here and um, then we'll go to the Geraldton Town Centre and um, the shopping and that in Geraldton and show you guys around there. But we'll just finish walking um, down the street. And look at this guys, this here is a frangipani tree and I've noticed the frangipanis flower spectacularly out here in Geraldton. There were some beautiful frangipani trees as we're driving in here in full bloom. They really do flower well over here. There's some sunflowers there. You don't see a lot of them around. There's a nice modern house there guys. And here's another frangipani in full bloom over here. And there's the ocean right in front of us there. There's a, there's a few ships out there. They're all cargo ships waiting to get into port. Um, you, you don't get any cruise liners out here, guys. They're all cargo ships. And there's another nice house there with a beautiful frangipani again. I've seen a lot of fa frangipanis out here. Now look at this corner house on the right, guys. It's not a big house, but it's probably got the best block on that road because you can see how high up it is. You can see how this um, out of side of it over here the goes. It's fairly high, so that's perched right up, and, um, and no one can build in front of him. He hasn't got the biggest block, uh, the biggest house, but he's got a fantastic view. And the, as you can see. The sea is quite choppy today. It's it's a bit of a breeze happening, but it's not cold. 
So in the distance over there, guys, you can see the port over there, like we showed you before. That's the port over there. And um, so we might just wind this bit up over here and um, we'll see you in the town centre next. Guys, so before we go to the um, town centre, we just want to point out these houses here. They, they're right in front of the ocean. We didn't actually walk that far down before, but we've, come, we've done sort of a circle and we've come across these ones. And these ones had to be pointed out because they are quite impressive, most of them down here. And then there is a couple of older ones in there also, which makes it even more impressive because um, of the history. Just um, showing you what it looked like. See this one here, in front of us, a small one. That's a fibro cement house. So um, I like an asbestos, but it's called fibro cement. And um, that one there will probably date back to the 1950s. So he's been there a long time. And then you can see the one with the light coloured roof over there. How modern is that? And that front section there, that's the old entertaining area there. So it's a massive undercover entertaining area, al fresco area. Um, all those windows on that house is tinted because of the glare of the sun coming in off the ocean there. And it's a very impressive house. It's not a double story, but it certainly is a nice looking house. So um, yeah, we'll take you now to the, show you a bit of the town centre and the shop shortly. So guys, this here is called the Northgate Shopping Centre in, um, in Geraldton in, in um, Western Australia. And um, this is quite a, a decent sized shopping centre guys, for all of you that's familiar with Coles and Kmart, there's a Coles and Kmart in here. Um, I think Kmart's Walmart in America. And um, look at that entrance to it guys, that's quite an impressive entrance over there. And um, what I am also impressed about, what I am also impressed about is that um, Geraldton's actually got a lot of shopping centres. A hell of a lot of shopping centres. Um, so I won't take you to all the shopping centres because there is a lot over here. I was very impressed by that. So this one here is a pretty decent size actually and um, it's also right on the beachfront by the looks of it. You can see the ocean over there. It's right over here. You can see the ocean over there guys. So this shopping centre is right on the beachfront, how good's that? And there's the sign over there with the main tenants in the, in the building over there. Showing you uh, Coles and Kmart and um, Liquorland and there's something else there I can't... Um, what does that say? Kids something or other. Kids clothing home. Never heard of that shop before. Kids clothing home. There you go. So um, that's a bit of the shopping and we'll see you in the town centre and surrounding areas of the town centre. Okay guys, we're in um, downtown Geraldton over here and have a look at this. This is a beauty, this Morton Bay fig tree. Look at it. It is massive. It's been pruned a hell of a lot because you can see all the branches being taken off because there's a lot of lampposts and stuff in the way and, and this beautiful building over here. Look at this guys. This used to be an office years ago in the 1800s for a railway. Because they, they used to have a railway line through here, believe it or not, but it proved um, a bit hazardous for the for the locals, and um, they removed it. So there's no more railway line through here. here here's a bit of a write-up here about it. Um, this building served as West Australia's first government railway station, and was constructed to serve the old Geraldton to Northampton railway line. The foundation stone was set on the 21st of August, 1878 and when completed the building was a single story stone building with a shingle roof and raised platform facing marine terrace. I'll just read that part there guys. So it's quite a nice 
nice old building. It was single story in its day, now they've added another story on. And it's a library today, by the way. So it looks pretty cool. So that over there is um, a play area there. I know the camera can pick that up. That's on the foreshore here in Geraldton. And right next to this over here is there's some beautiful trees here also guys. Look at them, they're all pine trees. Beautiful looking things. And uh, Geraldton has a yacht club. Here's the Geraldton Yacht Club. And Geraldton District's Fishing Club. All in one, combined. And you can hire this place out for functions also if you want. Weddings, parties, all sorts of stuff like that. So it is a public holiday today here guys in Geraldton. So it's a little bit quiet. There's a few people buzzing around. A few of the shops are open, a few of the cafes are open. Um, on the on the right hand side here guys, that building there, that's actually a cinema. So there's a cinema also in town. I'm quite impressed with Geraldton guys. It's, um, it's actually tipped to be one of the regional um, growth um, towns or cities, because Geraldton's a city, uh, for 2024. So if you're interested in um, investing here or even living here, it'd be a great spot. We just had one of the locals come up to us early on and these were his very words. Isn't this a, isn't this fucking good weather? <laughs> That's what he said to me. <laughs> Uh, you'll never get weather like this anywhere else in the world. That's what he said. And it probably is true. Beautiful weather. It's, um, they've got a Mediterranean climate out here. So um, here's your um, fishing store over there. You can buy all your fishing gear in there. Get your ice in there also. And uh, like I said, a lot of the cafes, small cafes, are closed. There is one up ahead there that that is open. Look at that, guys! The artwork over there on the on the buildings it looks pretty cool. Very colourful. So this cafe here is open. Cafe Fleur. And there's a few people sitting in there having a coffee and um, some breakfast and that. A few people out here also. Looks like quite a nice little cafe. So um, I'm quite impressed also with the drivers over here in Geraldton, guys. They're very um, courteous to pedestrians. We just had someone stop in the middle of the street yesterday and, and uh, waved us across. Really good. Very courteous people. Here's a backpacker's place here, guys. If you're looking for cheaper accommodation if you're in Geraldton, there you go. Backpackers. So uh, Geraldton's got everything here. Nice um, women's boutique over there. And across the road there, there's a butcher. Quality butcher. There's Mick Davy, Quality butcher. That building was built in 1908, guys. Doesn't mean he was a, um, started his butchery there in 1908. It's just the building. And here's the Ocean Centre Hotel, guys. That's where we're staying. That's a four-star hotel. It goes all the way down there, and it's got fantastic um, um, ocean views. Um, we've actually got a room with ocean views. They actually um, upgraded us. We're supposed to be on the second floor. They gave us the fourth floor. It's actually a massive room. Beautiful room, actually. Beautiful balcony. So that clock, uh, that clock up there, guys, 
it's called the old fibre because the time's never been right on it. So maybe, maybe, maybe there's a ghost up there that changes the time all the time. I, I have no idea, but that's what it's all about. They call it the old fibber. Yeah, there's banks also here. Yeah, here's a bank over here, an ATM. There's plenty of ATMs we've noticed. There's a sort of... Um, I think that's a halfway sort of house in that arcade there for, for homeless people. There's a few homeless people in there by the looks of it. Here's a um, cotton on store that sells all sorts of clothing for women and men. <laughs> Bit of music playing there guys so we had to sort of move along. Here's a nice old hotel here, guys. The Freemasons. Um, had a beautiful uh, meal over there. Um, we'll recommend that. I had a curry, and Susan had um, crispy, crispy pork, and it was really, really nice. Only one problem, guys. Here's Ivor's whinge of the day. It's, it's whinge time, guys. I know you all like my whinge of the day. <laughs> we, we were there last night and uh, they never had food, which is fair enough because it was New Year's Eve and it was really busy, so there was no food. So we had a few drinks and we um, bought a, a 90, 90 gram bag of potato crisps for you Aussies, Smith's crisps they were, 90 gram bag. And um, they charged me seven Australian dollars for a 90 gram bag of Smith's crisps in that hotel. I wasn't happy. I did question it again and um, the guy said, yeah, it's ridiculous, the, the guy across the counter, but what can you do? Seven Australian dollars, guys, for a 90 gram bag of potato crisps. I've repeated myself. So guys, we'll take you to another part of Geraldton now. We have to drive there, so we'll see you there shortly. So guys, this here is the HMAS Sydney 2 Memorial over here, so in Geraldton. So um, we're just going to show you guys around here. Looks pretty impressive guys, that dome over there, looks very impressive. It's all made out of metal or stainless steel by the looks of it, because um, we are up very high over here. You can see the hills over there, if the camera can pick all that up. So we are, we are up very high, and the ocean's over there to your left, guys. We'll get right up near the fence over there, and you can probably see that better. And here's the Australian flag and the Western Australian flag. That there looks like it's um, propeller. Um, it's from a, uh, the, the motor of a boat, I think. Propellers from the boat. Look at that guys, isn't that a beautiful view? Check that out. This is in Geraldton, it's a beautiful place. It really is. I was talking to one of the shop owners, one of the small business owners, and she was saying there's a lot of development um, going to happen here. And overseas buyers actually buying up big over here and around Australia, and they're putting micro breweries in everywhere. And the shop she leases, he's bought, they've bought that. So. They're not sure where this overseas buy is from, but um, that's what she heard. So they're putting a microbrewery, and her shop's right on the ocean front. So um, it's going to be a microbrewery going in there. But look at this place. Look at that. There's a lot of people up here, guys, looking around. And you can see the coast forever. It's really nice. S special place over here. I'm not sure if they should actually be in there, but they are. And that's how things get vandalised, in my opinion. But um, some people obviously just do what they want to do. Okay. 
here's a, um, a bronze statue of um, a lady obviously depicting the war era. I think she's got her uniform on. So here's a bit of uh, history on, on uh, HMAS Sydney 2 guys. Just, um, we'll just film it for you. And you can have a read on your on your TV screen. But it was found in in um, 2008, I think it was. So they found they found the HMS uh, HM AS Sydney two in 2008. Hence this. Um, Hence this um, tribute to it over here, and the remembrance pool, which is which we'll film in a minute. But this uh, dome over here is quite spectacular. You can see it from Geraldton, the town city. It's it really does stick out. All the paving's done really well over here also, everything's nice and level. So um, you won't have any issue tripping or anything. <coughs> that there's the remembrance pool guys. So the the ship was found in 2008. So we'll um, we'll take you now to a different area of Geraldton and show you around there. So there's also a few nice churches here in Geraldton, guys, and that there is the St. Francis Xavier Church. You can see all the pigeons on the roof over there. There's um, quite a few pigeons up there and also sitting around the little ledge up there. Pigeons everywhere. But what a beautiful looking church. Beautiful church, beautiful uh, gardens over there. And then just across the road over here, we have one of many parks in Geraldton. And that there is Maitland Park. And uh, everything's kept very neat over there. The gardens are beautiful, the grass is mowed nicely. There's even toilets over there, guys. You can see that little white building over there. And there's picnic uh, seats over there. There's barbecues in there. There's all sorts of stuff. There's a play area for the kids. So one of many beautiful parks in Geraldton. But I do like that church. It looks very nice. There's just a front view there, guys, of the St. Francis Xavier Church. What a beautiful looking church, it really is. It's got a clock in there also. And then just in front of that church, there's a theatre. Have a look at this. Queen's Park Theatre. Ocean Film Festival. They have all sorts of festivals and stuff here. They've got the Blues Brothers and Soul Sister playing in there. Um, so they've got all sorts of uh, things going on over here. And what a good looking theatre. Have a look at that water feature in front, guys. We'll get up, we'll get up close to that and have a look. Look at that, what a good looking um, what a good looking water feature and theatre over here. The uh, 2nd October 2024. They're, they're having some stuff happening over here. And um, Here's just some artwork over here, some metal artwork. And um, the iris sundial. So there's just a, I don't know if the camera can pick that up, but there's a bit of a bit of a um, write-up about the sundial. Nice gardens in here also guys, and nicely paved over here. Beautiful. Really good, Geraldton does it well. So guys, this, um, there's a house across there, an old house over there, and that's actually for sale, guys. That's actually for sale. And that is an old um, 1960s house, it's a three by one, and it's built on 1.3, just over 1.3 hectares of land, and it's from 850,000 Australian dollars now. The, the, the land, 
the, where the where the lighthouse is over there, there's the famous lighthouse by the way, where, the, where it's all fenced off because the lighthouse isn't, doesn't come with the package and the land where the lighthouse is situated on, where that fence is around it, doesn't come with the package. But the land obviously goes back behind that house over there, one point, just over 1.3 hectares of land from 850,000. Now, it's, it's free old because there is a bit of a strange thing in this area. See all the houses over there? All those houses over there, and they stretch quite a, uh, quite a long way down. Those houses, you can buy them, but with a 21-year lease. So this house here is the only one without a lease. You buy it, you get your 1.3 hectares of land, and um, you pay 850 or whatever you want to negotiate with the with the salespeople, the agent, and you'll find them on realestate.com.au, guys. And we will put the we will put some information on that house for you. So just across the road is your view. That's the ocean over there, guys. And um, it's a bit choppy today. So this here is the famous lighthouse. It's not in operation anymore. We'll just go have a look over here. Point, point more lighthouse, built in 1878. And um, the lighthouse keeper used to climb those stairs every day, twice a day, I think it was. Um, I left my notes in the hotel room, guys, so I'm sorry about that. So I'm ad living as we go. But Susan's got the camera there on some of the um, some information here on the lighthouse, which is quite um, interesting. And it was built in 1878, like I said. Solid steel, guys. It looks impressive. So all this land here, where the fence is around the lighthouse, that doesn't that's not included in the sale. So you you'll be living if you bought that house, guys. I don't know what it looks like inside, but it's pretty old. But if you bought that house for 850,000 Australian dollars, you'll be living next to a bit of history over there. A good looking lighthouse. And of course the ocean right across the road. Now there's a building there. Um, it's Gerald, I can't read it. Let's go have a look and we'll cross the road and have a look what that building is, guys. Because there is a car park here, so something obviously happens over here. So it's the Geraldton Volunteer Marine Rescue Group, okay. So it's like surf life saving, I would say, in there. So you'll cross the road from that also. But what a good spot if you bought that house. Not sure if you can demolish it, guys. You'll have to talk to the real estate agent if you're interested in that, because it could be some, it could be, I'm not saying it is, it could be some heritage thing or something. I don't know. And then you've got all these sand dunes across here. So if you built yourself a double story house, and there's the beach over there, there's, um, there's a few people in there actually. guy with a sailboard I think over there and it looks pretty barren land out here so it's quite good you'll be all on your own I might think about buying it look at this it looks like you're in a on another planet over here this looks pretty good this this here is actually part of the, the land the package that you'll get so all this year comes with that house so the lighthouse is in the middle of it and it's just that land with a lighthouse in the middle there that you don't get. So it goes around like in a C shape. All this land here comes with it. How cool is that? So you might even be able to have a business over here because it's quite a big block of land, over 1.3 hectares. So there you go. The lighthouse cafe or something, or the lighthouse bar. How cool will that be? 
and then you and you'll have perfect um, ocean views over there. Bit choppy today over there, guys. Okay, so we're gonna um, take you to a different part of um, Geraldton now, and we'll see you there shortly. So guys, this here is um, the foreshore area of Geraldton, and um, there's a nice little pub across there, guys, called the, the Foreshore. And uh, we've been in there for a few drinks, and it's quite good. I recommend that pub, it's quite nice. And then um, across the road here, guys, because we're walking along that path on the foreshore, is um, the biggest dome cafe I've ever seen. Have a look at this, this is massive. Massive dome cafe with front row seats right on the ocean in Geraldton. And there's quite a few people in there also, guys. Quite a few people having their lunch, because it is lunchtime now. And the ocean, it's a bit blowy today, so the ocean is quite um, choppy. Have a look at all the people in the Dome Cafe. Quite a lot. And there's a few jet skis out there also. Just um, spotted a guy going, fa going past there. He's, he's going quite fast, actually. But have a look at this Dome Cafe. It's, it's massive. It's absolutely huge. I've never seen a dome cafe this big ever. So in the in the foreground right down there guys, that's actually wheat silos over there. And they've got all the wheat uh, being put onto the oops there goes my hat. I lost my hat. And the paperwork nearly. Very blowy. Just lost my cap, guys. And the paperwork and everything. Look at all the seagulls over here. Look at that massive seagull. I've never seen a seagull that big in my life. Have a look at that one. Where did he come from? That's huge. <laughs> look at him run. They're all running because the little girl's chasing them. But this one here is absolutely massive. I think it's a deformed bird. I think it's a deformed uh, seagull. My cap's going to go again. Maybe it was a bad idea filming along the foreshore, yeah? But it is quite nice. So the car... <coughs> Excuse me guys, I've, I've got some, I don't know what I've caught, I've caught some sort of a summer cold or something. Um, that there's a view, that there's the view of the hotel that we're staying in, the front view of it there. As you can see, it's quite a, quite a nice looking hotel. A bit costly, but um, you know, what do you do? It is peak season in the world actually around Christmas time. So there's a I don't know if the if the, if the um, microphone can pick that up. And there's a <laughs> he sounds drunk already that guy. He has a he has a play area over here and water water um, feature and all sorts of stuff here for the kids to play in and the adults if you want to. So that there guys up front there that's the port of Geraldton that's where all the cargo ships come in and that and the wheat the um, the ships to collect the wheat from the silos uh, to, to um, export overseas that's where all that comes in. So um, that guy's still carrying on in the background there. I don't know what he's carrying on about but he sounds drunk so, um, guys, what I was going to talk about also, about the different, um, different residential areas within Geraldton, within, uh, near to the city centre, and there's a place called Beachland, there's about four of them. Um, Beachlands, there's Beresford, there's Bluff Point, and there's Cape Burney. So those are the four suburbs within 
uh, the immediate area of Geraldton. But so, guys, what I'll do also now is um, it's very blowy, yeah. So it's hard to, um, and it was wet around that water feature, that play area. So we couldn't film that. But what I'll do is now, guys, I'll give you the median house price in Geraldton. And the median house price over here is 335,000 Australian dollars. So that's not too bad. Geraldton, by the way, is expected to um, boom in 2024 and also become a trendy city because there is a lot of um, investment going on in this area in the city so the median unit price over here is 182,500 Australian dollars and the median land price over here guys is 200,000 Australian dollars so if you like Geraldton and you want to make it your home it's four hours from Perth the capital of Western Australia um, but Geraldton has got everything over here you probably don't have to go to Perth unless you're in, involved in some naughty business and you have to go to um, the higher courts and that you might have to make the trip to Perth you can drive there you can catch a plane there and you can catch a coach to Perth so in saying that guys you might just wind it up over here um, hope you guys enjoyed this video on Geraldton and our trip to Geraldton and all the other bits of videos we've done in between and um, guys please don't forget to like and subscribe I've got a bit of a summer cold up court so I'm not feeling the best um, so please don't forget to like and subscribe guys and uh, we'll catch you in the next one